Well, thank you for watching Virginia this morning live right here on CBS 6. February is the month of love. And recently, Bill spoke with a Richmond-based dating expert who shares her thoughts on romance. Here's that conversation. How has dating changed since COVID-19? Have you ever used a matchmaker to find a love connection? Our next guest is an expert in the field and joins us this morning to talk about finding love and dating during the COVID-19 pandemic. And we welcome Amber Artis, CEO of Select Date Society to Virginia this morning. Hey, Amber, good to see you. Hey, Bill, good morning. All right, so I was just talking to one of my sons the other day, and because of his work, he actually got the vaccine. And he says, now I can't wait till everybody gets it so I can go out and meet some people. <laughs> and, and I said, yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? And I, I, it kind of made me think, how do people date now? I mean, it, I would think it'd be impossible, but I'm guessing you've got some answers. Yeah, you know what? Dating is still dating and people are still um, seeking love. I feel like 2020 gave us a whole lot of lemons and the lemonade that came out of it was that a lot of single people are making time to make their personal life a priority. So, you know, March, April, a little bit of May, things slow down a little bit on the dating front. But by summertime, like isolation and quarantine had people craving connection. And so I find that people are still dating. They're just being smart about it. They're wearing their masks, they're socially distanced, they're dating over Zoom. Um, but yeah, if you're single and you're looking for love, now is a really good time to start your search. So I think we've gotten pretty good at reading people's eyes. That's one of the things I've noticed, because if you've got a mask on, I, I realized I was talking to someone the other day and I had my mask on and I was just smiling like crazy. And they said, it's so nice to see you smile. I went, you're not seeing me smile, but I guess it was showing up here. So uh, you got to you got to learn how to navigate, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Probably a little less Botox right now, right? <laughs> so, that, so that our smiles can be seen for our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it is a, uh, it's a, it's a problem. And obviously you uh, tackle this all the time. Uh, so get us started. What is step one to get going? So if you're going to work with a matchmaker like Select Date Society, you could go to our website, selectdatesociety.com and fill out an inquiry form and one of our experienced matchmakers will reach out to you. I would say if you are single and interested in meeting somebody, um, network like crazy. Let all your friends and family know that you're single, that you're interested, you're open to be setting up on blind dates. I mean, as matchmakers, what I do, I employ recruiters who their job, they work 50 hours a week recruiting great matchmakers matches for our clients. And so if you're single and you're, you can't afford to hire a matchmaker, you could always employ your friends and family as your personal recruiters. So when I was uh, much younger, I had a part-time job for, to get some extra money and an employment agency. And it sounds kind of like what we were doing back then of matching up, you know, I, I, I do this, I can do that. I have these qualifications. Is that basically the same kind of game plan? Absolutely. I always tell my clients what I do is essentially executive recruiting for your love life instead of your career. Okay. Executive recruiting for your love life. I love that. All right. And by the way, you said something a second ago. Do you call your employees matchmakers? Yeah, absolutely. So um, most of our employees are certified matchmakers. There's actually a matchmaking institute um, in New York City. I'm certified as well. I've been doing this for 22 years, and almost everybody on my team has 15 to 20 plus years of experience. So we're all professional matchmakers. Professional certified matchmakers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> that is so cool. All right. So uh, what is your favorite thing that happens? I kind of guess I know, but tell us about it. You know when what? You, as you, a make a good match. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you just my favorite um, day of the week is Monday. You know, a lot of people dread going into work Monday mornings. For me, it's the best day because that's when our clients are calling in their feedback from their weekends that happened or their dates that happened over the weekend. And so, you know, I get all the juice and all the gossip and what happened Friday and Saturday night. And it's just so fun. And it's fun to see connections happening right before your eyes and to be able to kind of coach people along as they're forming those connections. 
All right, so I just thought of a sad gig for you. I know you've been doing this for a long time, but if you're finding out about people's dates and they went out to eat, if, if they were able to do that, you could probably know the best restaurants all over the place. I mean, it's like, oh, the food there is great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We actually, we have concierge level clients where we have a personal assistant assigned to them to set up their dates. So we do know all the best restaurants. We know all the best date places. We make the reservations. We take care of everything. Wow. That is so cool. And you've been doing it how long? Since the late 90s, 22 years now. So you started when you were 10. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Amber, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for the information. Thank you. All right, folks, if you'd like some more information on Select Date, it's the Select Date Society. We'll post a link on our show website by early this afternoon at WTVR.com slash VTM. So you that? can find love during a global pandemic. That's been decided. <laughs> <laughs> and they're called matchmakers, which I just thought was like, oh, I didn't know that even existed anymore, but they are. And I got so much out of that interview. It's like she looks forward to Monday mornings because that's when she finds out what happened. It's like it's a, it's like it, it's like if, you know, somebody loves to gossip, this would be a great job. You could gossip about it, of course. But me, you get all this great <laughs> input. It's like, how did it go? What you look like? What do you do? You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Well, it's why we look forward to Mondays, even though I just need to turbocharge it a little bit because we get to find out what everybody's been up to and everywhere you are, right? So many yeah. adventures over the weekend, same, same only different. Yeah. But can you imagine, basically, like you think about that, we talk often and we've featured conversations on the show about finding that next career path and, and working with recruiters who know. I mean, it is, it is such a targeted role to be able to know what that other party is looking for and being able to make that match successfully. I've, I've thought about this so often with, um, because there's people you talk to with like, I, I, you, you just, I meet people better in person, right? Maybe I don't come, <laughs> come together so well on paper or on in the digital form. So I don't know, it's gotta be such a challenge. And, but I did love the fact that she said, make your family and friends recruiters for you. It's like, yeah, that's pretty much what the way it's worked forever, but only you've stepped it up a level. That was that was a, that was a fun conversation. I enjoyed that. For the record, yeah. I am the worst matchmaker in the history <laughs> of matchmaking, and I was told to stop. Just so stop. I really that's admire okay. people. <laughs> I really admire people who have the skill. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You, you, we, you put together a pretty good team, so you can pick pe people just not for the love game. Okay. The love connection. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'd love to have you stick around because we're going to come right back. <laughs>